Yeah. 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 It's just going to be easier to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We've got to talk about okay. My name's Dick. I'm going to talk to you. This is Annie. Annie Kerr, she's also here. And um, Marcus Sanders. Okay. So we're here to talk to you about Sarah. I'm going to show you a picture. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. Okay. Sarah went missing. Um, show you some pictures of, of, of her on the day. Okay. Sarah went missing um, on Wednesday and her parents obviously and her family are really worried about her now. The inquiry that's been conducted so far has led us to come and speak to you about it and to see what we, what we know about Sarah, okay? So, would you like to, do you know where Sarah is? No. Right. Okay. Do you know anything about what happened to her? I know that um, she went missing up in um, London somewhere um, what, what, about a week ago or so, uh, just from what I've got on the news. Okay. Have you ever personally met her? No, not personally, man. No. Have you had any interactions with her at all? No, uh, why, 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 why would I have personal interactions with her? <coughs> well, it's very difficult because I can't go into a lot of the evidence because obviously that would require, that's not part of what an urgent interview is okay this interview is just about trying to find her because sure. she's been missing for a while well, I'm, now I'm sat in handcuffs and <coughs> me, well, I know her so you must have something to say that I, I know her well as I said you've been arrested on suspicion of kidnap and we believe that you've been involved in her disappearance and taking her away from her family okay so we are trying to find her See, everybody is very worried about her. She's got, you know, parents. She's got, a, a, you know, she's siblings. She's got a girlfriend. There's a lot of people that care about her. Um, sure. If you've sure. seen her on the news, there's a lot of people that, you know, reach out about her. Sure. Out there looking for her every day, and she's missing. And our job, our primary job here, is to find her and to try and find her safe and well. Okay. Now we believe it. Do you know something about where she is? And that's why we're here, to look for her and to try and find her. And that's why we're talking to you now, is to try and get you to have a good think about it. And, you know, tell us anything you can about where we might be able to find her. Okay, um, well, I am in financial. Um, and I've been um, lent on by... Um, I don't know who they are. They're a group, a gang, whatever. Um, and they told me why I need to go and pick up girls and give them to them. So um, I said, not happening. Um, and it then came through that they're going to harm my family, take them away, and they'll use them instead. Um, at that point I had no option to try and find somebody so I don't um, there's, there's a couple of names I was told a place to um, take her that's it that's all, that is all I know <coughs> to this group of people tell me about them I need to find them, tell me everything you know that, I okay. that you'll help me there was a white sprinter van um, they um, uh, it was between sort of Lennon, Maidstone area that I dropped her off. Um, I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. They, they just, I, I just um, parked my car up and then the van come up behind me, flashed me, and they all jumped out. Um, and then they, they, they took this girl. Uh, um, they said, they said, You've done good, and I don't know whether my family's going to be alright still. But they they threatened they threatened to take my family away from me. So at that point, I'm I'm doing what I can to protect my family. That's it. So all I know is that it was a roundabout. I, we could try there now. I could show you. 
Well, I, I, roughly, I don't know Lenham Maidstone area at all. Um, if you did it on Google, if you did it on Google Maps, like Google Earth, if you drove it, would right. you do it? I drove from Ashford to Maidstone. There's a roundabout that breaks up, I guess, so this, this is the first big roundabout that you come to. And you would carry straight over to Maidstone, but instead I went round that roundabout and back up another road. Um, and at that point that I was flashed and pulled over. Um, <coughs> you guys got out, um, opened my door, opened that door. Um, pushed me out against the front of the car, took the girl, drove off, that's it. They said we'll be in touch. So I'm here, I'm off work with stress because I'm here to protect my family. I want to be here 24-7 for my family. They come for my family. I've got nothing myself. I've got no choice. I'll go back through the route with you in a minute, all right? But how do they contact you? How did you contact them? I tried to f*** on one of their cool girls and rip her off. Mm -hmm. So she's told them and um, they, they, they've got me. So how do they, no, but I mean, how do they contact you? How, how is it they've been in contact with you to make these threats? They just, they just tell me, be here, be here. So Hotel Burston, down in Folkestone, got be here. Okay, so I turned up. Um, but I've got no mobile number and they have got my mobile number. They haven't. They're obviously outside watching, following. I uh, just honestly How are they telling you to be there? They'll be there. How is it they're thieving those directions? Yeah, they'll they yeah. they'll, they'll come outside. So they'll be outside here. Yeah. And then they'll say, Why well, are you gonna be in Folkestone at this time? Or you're gonna be in Ashford at this time. And that's it. Okay. There's no links, no telephone numbers. I'm completely on my own, but at the same time being threatened. Um, it had um, Romanian plates on the on the van, um, uh, white, um, like Mercedes Sprinter type van. There's a transporter, um, a blue.